Welcome to Medical Student Life in Japan, a podcast created by a teacher and a group of medical students at Nara Medical University. Our members are Yuriko, a third year medical student, Gento, Taiga, Taika, Koichi, and Misaki, all second year medical students, Yuka, a second year nursing student, Suguru and Koshiro, both first medical students, and our teacher, Michael. We are a small medical college in the Kansai region of Japan. This podcast has two great purposes. One is to share stories about being a medical student here in Japan. And also for our students to share fun ideas, opinions, and information about Japanese culture to people all over the world. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Thanks a lot, for, lot listening. for listening. Hi, Yuka and Gento. Um, today, we are going to talk about club activities um, because recently some club activities were restarted and each club is now going to recruit new members from uh, you want to join three club activities um i think it's very hard but are you okay yes of course uh, why do you think so mm, that's because i have no part-time job um you said that you want to join a volleyball club yeah. do you have any experience in volleyball match yeah i was member of volleyball club in my junior high school. Uh, that's great. Uh, what part do you, uh, did you play in a game? Uh, I was libero. Mm -hmm. Do you have any opinion about the club activities that you want to do? Yeah. I am Japanese, but I have mm, many ideas about Japanese culture so much. So I want to join tea ceremony and share my idea with many people. Thank you for sharing your ideas. Thank you. And how about you, Gento? Do you have any uh, club activities that you want to join? Uh, I don't decide it what club I join, but I want some sports club. Um, do you have uh, any experience in sports? Yeah, uh, when I was a high school student, uh, I joined table tennis club. Oh, then do you have an idea that you try uh, table tennis again? Uh, no, uh, I want to join except it. Uh, I want to do some new sport. Um, but you want to um, join us some of the sports club activities you have to make an appointment with senior members of the club because uh, due to the pandemic um, the, mem the number of the new students in welcome party is restricted how do you contact with those seniors so we have uh, some group uh, so uh, we can contact uh, we can have some line group which is a kind of uh, SNS and we can contact the senior student with it. I see, thank you. Um, by the way, I, I'm in a swimming club. I recommend it very much because uh, this club has the most members in sports club and so you can make a new a lot of friends there and we also hold uh, fun events on holidays so you can chill out there and have a good time um, I know that the practice is very hard but after the practice you can enjoy uh, having dinner with members and uh, some alcohol. Are you okay with alcohol, Yuka? No, I am 19 now, so I can't drink alcohol. Um, what do you 
Uh, think about alcohol. Are you strong with it? Yeah, definitely. I <laughs> will strong. I will be strong. That's because my parents is very strong. They drink alcohol like water. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. <laughs> How about you, Kento? Yes, I can drink alcohol because uh, I'm uh, 20 years old and I also like alcohol. Okay, thank you. Um, do you have any recommendation, Michael? Do I have any recommendations? Okay. Um, I've heard the ESS Club is really good. <laughs> Why do you think so? Well, this is ESS stands for English Speaking Society, so it's basically a club where you can uh, use English. Now, I'm not just saying that because I'm your English teacher. Um, it's a nice club because I've heard some of the other clubs demand a lot from the students, lots of practice, maybe several times a week. But the ESS club, the responsibility is a little bit low. So you can come when you're free and you can enjoy using English. And they also have some fun events like a summer camp, an overnight camp where all the students and maybe some teachers join and have a big fire and listen to music and, and cook together. Um, and there's a few um, events like a debate or speech contest for students who are really motivated and want to do something a little bit harder. But the responsibility is a little bit low for everyone else. So I think it's a good club to join because you're already studying so hard, right? You're already really busy, so um, I recommend that ESS club. Okay, thank you for your introduction. Uh, some of the listeners may want to join your club. Uh, since a state of emergency due to COVID-19 ended, we can now travel in Japan. So I want to share the place we have visited before. News, um, where you have been visited, Suguru. Yeah, of course. Uh, the most beautiful place I have ever been in Japan is Mount Daisen in Totori Prefecture. Uh, Totori Prefecture is a three hour drive from Osaka. Uh, the scenery is different depending on the season. In spring, Young grasses bloom all over the place with beautiful small flowers turning uh, pink and purple. Uh, in summer, the whole area is green and the cows are eating grass. Uh, in autumn, maple trees bloom at the foot of the mountain and turn into red or yellow colors. And in winter, the mountain tops are covered with snow, so uh, this is a wonderful mountain where I can feel the four seasons of Japan. Uh, yeah. Um, you talked to us about uh, Mount Daisen uh, yes. in Totori, but are there yes. any other things uh, famous in Totori prefecture? Uh, yeah, uh, it is famous for pears. Uh, especially the 20th century pear uh, is very sweet and tastes similar to an apple. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I like Thank to you. eat one uh, when I visit it. I visit totally perfect the next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And then how about you, Misaki? Where did uh, you... Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, today, um, I like to talk about uh, Kyushu area uh, since I lived in there in, uh, until I was 12 years old. And Kyushu area is uh, in the southern part of Japan and it is, contains about uh, many islands uh, in that uh, area. And from Osaka, it takes about three or four hours by a train called Shinkansen, and it's the fastest train in Japan. And so uh, today, uh, there are many uh, great points in Kyushu, but uh, I like to eat uh, delicious food. So uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, food in Kyushu. And uh, 
Uh, first, uh, before talking about food in Kyushu, uh, I'd like to introduce the uh, prefectures uh, which, contain, which Kyushu contains, and uh, Fukuoka, uh, Kumamoto, Saga, Nagasaki, Miyazaki, uh, Kagoshima, Oita, and Okinawa. There are, uh, what, I forgot one, maybe. What was that? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe Saga. I didn't say Saga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, I, <laughs> sorry. Uh, there are nine prefectures in Kyushu. And uh, so uh, I lived in Fukuoka Prefecture uh, when I was in my childhood. And so Fukuoka Prefecture is famous for uh, tonkotsu ramen. Uh, it's a ramen, uh, which is soup. It's made from uh, pork bones. And that's very delicious. And also, it is famous for mentaiko, which uh, is some kind, which is the egg of some kind of fish with uh, some spice. And also, um, Kumamoto Prefecture is famous for uh, where uh, horse meat, and oh, that's very delicious. So uh, every time I go to Kumamoto, I eat. Uh, uh, the horse meat uh, in Japanese it is called basashi and also Miyazaki prefecture is famous for mango and Kagoshima prefecture is famous for uh, pork uh, especially of uh, meat of black pig so and there are also many uh, kinds of delicious food in Kyushu so if you have a chance to visit Kyushu I really recommend you to eat a many kinds of food there Thank you. Uh, then, which food is your favorite in Kyushu? Uh, yeah, um, I live, as I said, I lived in Fukuoka, so uh, my favorite food is uh, tonkotsu ramen, which I introduced. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like to. Oh, really? Uh, That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then I will introduce Hokkaido. Uh, Hokkaido is the largest island in Japan, and it locates in northernmost in Japan. It takes about uh, 10 hours if I use bullet train uh, from Nara. And I think there are many good points. First, food is very delicious uh, because it is surrounded by three oceans, um, Japan Sea, Ohotsuk Sea and Pacific Ocean. So there are many kinds of fish and they are served, served at the restaurant on the day they were taken. So they're very fresh and very delicious. Uh, second, the view is very beautiful. Uh, it snows in winter, but uh, the to spring and autumn, we can enjoy other uh, nature, such as like tree or many flowers. So we can enjoy in each season. And that's, I think this is very good for me. And in Hokkaido, it is very cold all the year. Um, I'm very sweaty, so uh, it was very nice for me that it felt always cold. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been to Totori before, so if I could travel, then maybe I want to go to Totori. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>